I had a story of about four years ago, and I'm going to tell you what happened here. I went to go train a sign company. One of, wasn't one of my earlier ones, but definitely earlier in the career that we have now. Uh, let's say about five years ago, maybe four years ago, I went to go train a company. Out of state, flew in, and we did the first day of training. All was good. And the second day of training came in, and you could tell that something bad had happened to the company. The, everybody was panicky. They were running around. The production managers were running around looking for stuff. The install coordinator was there. The project managers were on the phone talking. And you could just tell something bad had happened. I said, okay, guys, hey, handle your client first. We can start training later. And so I just kind of sat back and I watched the dynamic of everything happen. Now I know when everyone's stressed out and they're at their, you know, they're at their wits end, it's not going to go so well. You know, everyone's going to be a little snappy. They're not going to check every box. They're going to hustle as fast as they can to get the job done. They might cut some corners. Normal, totally normal. But I saw something I'd never seen before and I'd heard about this, but I was shocked to actually see it. And this is what I saw. The boss, the president was in his corner office and all the employers were scrambling like mad. And then he gets a phone call from, I'm guessing, the client and talks to them for a little bit. And I'm watching him start to get up and pace back and forth. You can tell it's an uncomfortable conversation. And then he hangs up the phone, he comes out and he goes, hey, everybody, everybody stop what you're doing. Come here. And you could tell he was frustrated. And I said, okay, this is going to be a good, this is going to be a good presence to see how much of an alpha he is. How much can he take control of the situation? And he gets there and he goes, I cannot believe this happened. I cannot absolutely, I can't even fathom how we would miss four signs. Four signs are not even there. All the signs have to be up today. He's getting a final inspection today. This is not my problem. This is your problem. I don't care if you have to spend all day and night to get this done. You guys are going to fix this. I'm leaving. I'm going home. I don't even want to deal with this. This is ridiculous. This is a you problem, not me. And he walks out. I have never as a human being cringed so much over that pansy speech that he gave. The most ridiculous pansy move I've ever seen as any leader in the entire face of the earth make. You couldn't get any worse than what he had just said. So this podcast, I'm going to talk about what it takes to be an alpha. Plain and simple. In the job of your president of your company is to be an alpha. Now, most sign companies are really small. So the owner the CEO and the president are all the same person. When all reality, let's think about this. One person can be the owner of the sign company, hold the shares or multiple people can hold shares. Another person can run the boardroom, the CEO, and then the president does the bidding of the board. The board says, we want to go into this direction or this angle. The president takes it out and, and follows the actions of the board and makes it so throughout the company. Most small companies owner, CEO, president, or all one person. But right now for this podcast, I only want to talk to the president of the company. If you're an aspiring to become a president of an organization, if you're aspiring to break out and be your own, or if you are in this role, this podcast is for you. And if you are not wanting to do this, listen to what the president should be and help them get there if they're not there.